Hey YouTube, good evening. Just wanted to break down a little bit more about this uh, supposed comet Elenin. Um, well, first let me start with uh, going way back to July last year, July and August. We had in what we call in astrology a T cross and then a grand cross. This, this here is a a picture of the skies on that grand cross and as you see here right down here you'll see Uranus 0 degree Aries 11 minutes retrograde okay retrograde means that it, the planet appeared to be going backwards that's uh, because we travel faster uh, picture uh, passing a car if you will anyway uh, on March 11th of this year Uranus will be going back over that point in the sky where it was where this Grand Cross happened and what I want to mention about that Grand Cross is nothing really to to this point has taken place to account for the energy presented in the chart of the Grand Cross uh, one explanation of that could be that th there were so many retrograde planets that it delays the action of that uh, set of circumstances. Now Uranus going back over that point uh, could very well stimulate that energy to become active and that would be on March 11th. We'll close this and I want to uh, show you this and put it under the perspective of Hopi prophecy. Uh, they, they had prophecies, uh, the first of them being uh, when the webs are spun in the sky, the death winds will come. Now, uh, chemtrails could definitely be described as a spider web in the sky. A following uh, Hopi prophecy is that there would be a blue kachina visible in the sky, and they explained these blue kachina as a set of brothers. Well, PN9, asteroid 2000 PN9, is uh, two asteroids. Uh, and as you see here, they line up on a north-south type axis to the sun. Which the Hopi prophecy said that these the, the blue... Kachina were two brothers, one that protected the North Pole and one protected the South Pole. Uh, that could very well be their way of saying they travel on a North-South axis. Now, closing this and going over to the comet Elenin. Uh, sorry, closed it instead of opening it. This is the orbit diagram for the trajectory of Comet Elenin. And in a previous video I mentioned how this comet lines up with the ecliptic. I'll show you Pluto's orbit here one more time uh, in case you didn't see the other video. But as you see, Comet Elenin rides a tighter band to the ecliptic than does Pluto. Uh, I thought that was very interesting. But then I also thought this was interesting. On March 11th, you'll see, let me enlarge this for you. Oops, too much. Uh, as you see here, here's Uranus. Unfortunately, we're zoomed out so far that it obscures Earth, but there's a straight line coming from Uranus to the Sun to the Earth to Elenin. On this day, Uranus just happens to be breaking the ecliptic, or I'm sorry, not breaking the ecliptic, that's what Elenin is doing. But no, uh, Uranus is going into Aries and riding along at the Aries point, a very, very dynamic point in the zodiac on this day, the March 11th. Uh, given the fact that uh, so many people are, are talking about pole shift and how the uh, 
Big Dipper is lining up very odd in the sky as well as uh, the moon showing signs of being out of alignment. I just thought that this should be put into perspective and uh, it begs the question is Elenin actually a comet or is this just a cover story to buy NASA a little more time? I report you answer. Thank you, YouTube, and have a good night.